Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of On The Paint Table. It's my weekly show, but what I got done, what I'm working on, and what is coming up. So this week, I painted a lot of miniatures. I painted the entire Hellboy board game, um, which is, oh geez, 18, 25 miniatures. <laughs> I painted, um, actually, I should say, I finished another 30-ish, I did another 24. Yeah, another 24. I got to 39 or 49, because um, I painted the entirety of my Vanguard Space Marines from Shadow Spear, which were really just base coded before that. <laughs> I base coded them in time to do the, the, the battle report we did, and I actually like took time to finish them, deckle them, do all the, like, the little details, and, uh, and, and actually like, like polish them off completely so they're done. And I finally finished my Custody Squad from way back in Betra no, Prospero Burns um, from a couple years ago. Once again, we're trying to get like a game done, and I just did base coats and washes, and they needed some details. But I finished them all because one, I was excited to play with um, the uh, the Vanguard guys. Owen and I played a game of 40k this week, which we hadn't done in a really long time. He'd been really stoked to finish his Chaos Space Marines. He got a second copy of um, the Marines from Shadow Spear and, and painted them up. And I had not finished mine. It was a good excuse. It motivates me when other people want to do something. So um, Owen wanting to play a game got me to crank that stuff out. And then of course. Today is Kill Team Elites Day, which means all of the stuff from Shadow Spear now has rules in Kill Team. So this is perfect. So you can uh, watch two games. And it also got me to finish my Custodes because there's a Custodes Kill Team in uh, Kill Team Elites 2. We're, we filmed two games to be able to watch them. Um, and yeah, we're using all the crazy new stuff. <laughs> <laughs> all the crazy new stuff. Uh, you'll see if you click up in the cards up here, there's going to be battle reports for the uh, Custodes and um, for the new Vanguard Space Marines as well, who have the rules in Shadow Spears, along with some of the new stuff. Um, Owen's going to use this Chaos stuff in at least one of the games, too. So, uh, yeah, that got done. And, yeah, let's check it out. Let's see what got finished. Uh, the stuff that's coming up is is bonkers. I was going to paint my Sylvaneth this week, but then Sylvaneth got delayed, so they didn't get painted. <laughs> but they're here because I base coated them. Uh, and then, yeah, uh, Monolith Board Games sent along their Batman board game uh, for me to check out, and it is a mind-boggling amount of miniatures, which I just unboxed, uh, and I'll show you guys right now. So let's take a look at what I got done and what is coming up. So first things first, here is my Hellboy board game, um, all painted up. These are the baddies. So we got Rasputin, because you got to have a Rasputin if you need Hellboy. Uh, we got a giant frog monster, some tentacles, because again, it's Hellboy. Some frog infestations, because the Ogdru Jihad um, kind of manifest in the world, frogs show up. And then frog monsters that hide as humans and transform into evil frog monsters. And try and destroy the world and bring about the end of days. So the Ogdru Jihad like showing up. And then my PPRD right here, there's Big Ride. I got Johan Kraus, Liz, and Abe Sapien painted up. And that's all the miniatures that come in the starter. So you get... 12 frogmen in various forms, uh, 6 frog infestations for 18 models, 21 when you add in um, the two big boss guys and Rasputin, and then 4 BPRD members. It's a pretty solid box, man. There's 6 missions in there. I'm done 2 of them. You'll see the first one on Monday, uh, and then we're going to film the other 4 uh, going forward. They're really fun little one-off adventures. It's all It all feels very Hellboy. That's all I'm going to say, but you can check it out on Monday. And then over here, my custodies. I they don't look that different from probably last time you saw them. I just finished off like the plumes, the gems, a couple washes, all the silvers. Like there wasn't a ton to do, but they never got counted in any of the years of like total results because I was never happy that I did not finish them. So now they're done. Then they're gonna get counted. And you'll see them in kill team. Uh, and then over here is all my shadow spear stuff. So this guy might be my favorite new space free miniature. This like Primaris Lieutenant in Phobos armor. He's like he's like Space Batman. <laughs> He's awesome. Um, these were, when you saw them last, they were just airbrushed. Uh, and I don't think I ever did it on the paint table on them because literally they were just airbrushed with gray. Uh, and then the metallics were painted out and I think maybe a couple other colors, but that was it. Um, but I did some camo patterns and the cloaks, just like a dispersion camo pattern. There's the Phobos captain, ready to rock and roll. Fight you with his combat knife, because that's what you do. And then we got Mr. Glowy Eyes here, who's my primary librarian. Again, with the camo cloak and stuff. Really nice models. These are probably my, my favorite marine models I've been done in a while. The Eliminators. This guy's going to show up on a kill team. The Eliminator Sergeant, because he's super cool. Uh, some Suppressors, who are all long fangs, even though they're not old. <laughs> they're young long fangs. Um, and then over here is the uh, cool squad of Infiltrators, 10-man squad. Um, I did play a game with them. You'll see in two weeks, uh, Owen and I played a 1,500-point game, which I think is my favorite way to play 40K right now. It's it's You can't have everything... You gotta make some hard choices about your army. 
I think like 1501 attachment games probably are the way I'm going to want to play 40k going forward because the game's just too too messy. <laughs> Otherwise, it's too much of a mess and I have no idea what's going on. Um, but I got a squad of intercessors on the way to add to this too so my space wolves can go, can go full big marines because I'm having fun painting big marines. I like to probably... I, it's like out of stock everywhere I can't find anywhere, um, in Canada at least. But that easy to build Redemptor Dread, I might grab two, just to have like a big dread to go with my, my Space Marine Vendreds. And then I might actually paint up the uh, the new Wolfen, the new plastic Wolfen for my Space Wolves, because they fit with the Primaris Marines, like they're big. Um, and they just give me something extra Space Wolf feet to, to put in there too. So, ton of fun painting these guys. Stoked to use them in Kill Team, you check that out today as well. And here's some new Sylvaneth to add in. I obviously everyone saw the um, the teasers this week for the new Sylvaneth stuff, uh, and I got super jazzed about it and started just like airbrushing these guys. They're literally just airbrushed a little chair on granite. That's as far as I got because then the delay got announced, so that'll be done soon. And then there's this. Oh my God, Monolith Board Games, what have you done? <laughs> so these are the two: the good guy and bad guy starter from for for the Batman board game. And you do need both of these to play. So it, it comes in two boxes just because there's so much stuff in the game. Um, and the two halves come with like just a mind-boggling variety of heroes who are all in blue. A bunch of bystanders because you can have bystanders in, like the certain missions and stuff like that. And you get just like, like crazy stuff. You get Frank Miller Batman, uh, Batman Year Zero, Azrael, various different um, like, like Robins, so like Tim Drake. Uh, Damian Wayne, Nightwing, Red Hood, Jason Todd, another Red Hood. No, that's not Red. That's um, Duke. And then uh, like you get Bullock, you get Gordon, you get Orphan, you get Katana, Black Canary, Spoiler, Huntress, couple of Catwomans. Um, it's the Long Halloween one. You get Batgirl, Batwoman. Uh, oh my God! Like just right, Batwoman. Like just like a crazy amount of stuff. Uh, I love that you have different Batmans. And then you get the Bat Cow, because, like, why not have Bat Cow? I mean, if you're going to go all in, go all the way. Tons of cops, SWAT, security guards, drones. Uh, yeah, the good guy side is crazy. And then the bad guy side is equally crazy. It's even more dudes. So you get, like, Man Bad, Mr. Bloom, uh, Dr. Death, Couple of Killer Crocs, Big Bane, Tusk, Clayface, Solomon Grundy's all the big guys. And then you get like a Kid Scarecrow, Wrath, Jason Todd, Hush, Two Face, uh, Red Hood Classic with like the crazy like dome thing, Little Bane, another Scarecrow, Firefly, Killer Moth, uh, Penguin. You get Harley and her two jackals. You get Talon. You get uh, who? Ratmaster, Mister Freeze, Harley Quinn, Year Zero Riddler with like his like balancing his like. Riddler stick, Razagul, Orphan, Black Mask, Talon, uh, sorry, we said Talon, Riddler, other Riddler, Deathstroke, Deadshot, Penguin's Gang uh, with like machine guns, a uh, bunch of owls with like katanas and stuff and handguns, uh, Poison Ivy, like a bunch of objective markers, and then you get the Poison Ivy plants, you get a bunch of brutes and just various like goons, specific ganglings like the Riddler ones and Penguin ones. Yeah, it's it's madness. <laughs> like Red Hood Gang, you get so much stuff. It's crazy. Now, what's cool about this though is the missions are all broken down with like a menu selection of here's you have three heroes. Um, each hero could be one of these three people. So like, I don't have to paint all of us to play the game. Thank God. <laughs> I can take the first mission. What I'll probably do is I'll probably have you guys vote on it and be like, here's the nine heroes available. Pick the three that I'm gonna paint. And then I'll paint the bad guys because the bad guys are all set for each mission. And that way I can break this into like manageable pieces where I'm painting probably 12 or 13 models to play a game to try it out. So I'll pick the first mission um, and uh, and yeah, we'll, we'll do a little like plus drop pull probably on uh, on which which of the heroes I should paint. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm stoked about this, man. I, the Batman miniatures are great. Um, there's a bit of warping on the bases like now and then, but it's, I mean, these are PVC board game miniatures, so I'm not surprised by it. And I fixed bases a million times. So they are all pre-textured, if you look at them. So I'm just going to put them in boiling water and flatten them out. That's not a hard a hard thing to do. And I might glue washers under them too, because some of the taller ones, with the big capes and stuff, are a little bit unbalanced, just because the bases are so light. But that's, again, it's an easy fix just with washers on the bases. So yeah, holy crap, Monolith, like... 
<laughs> I opened the boxes. I was not, I mean, they said there was 190 miniatures in here or like 160, 170 miniatures in here, something like that. And uh, I didn't really understand until I opened it up what that actually meant. But uh, yeah, a lot of stuff coming up. So you got another on the paint table done and on the books. We're counting 25, 30 of these miniatures as new paints. They weren't counted this year. So 30 more miniatures on the paint pile, breaking 300-ish. <laughs> and I got a lot of work to do. <laughs> I got a lot of work to do. But that's okay, because I like painting. And these are all pretty, my, my least favorite part of the, the part of painting miniatures right now, which is assembling miniatures. I like converting miniatures. I hate just like scraping mold lines and putting stuff together. It's done on all these malls. They're all right of the blocks. It, it passes the same Christmas morning test as um, A Song of Ice and Fire does, where you just one, two, three, fun. So yeah, I'm gonna get, get scraping and, and, and do a few mold lines off these guys and pick out whatever the first scenario I'm gonna play is uh, so I can start prepping some models. So I hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you for more on the paint table next week. Uh, feel free to check out my review of Kill Team Elites um, as well as the, uh, the couple of games that go up too. And until next time I'm Ash, have a good one. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below to get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Ray Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.